Good afternoon. Welcome to Options Tender. We're doing a members video. We're taking a look at Tesla. Um, I just want to bring up a uh, another point of view. I want to bring up the bullish point of view. We've done the bearish quite a few times, and I've seen Tesla defy gravity uh, multiple times in its. Um, you know, throughout its infancy and, and raising up to the, one of the mega tech stocks. I don't know if it can still do the same thing, but uh, I want to bring the bullish aspect because the question is, is if Trump is um, placed in office, if he wins the election and Elon Musk is one of his team members, uh, whatever, Doge, <laughs> um, will Tesla benefit from that? And in a general sense, I mean, I think, yeah, of course, right? So um, we have to think about this. And, and, and either one can be right. The bear scenario can still be right um, to where, you know, maybe everything, the whole market is correcting and goes into into a recession uh during anybody it doesn't doesn't even matter if it's trump's or uh harris but I, i'm just bringing this up just because will will tesla benefit specifically and then if the market is decides to go into a recession can tesla still break out to new highs uh, during it and kind of defy all of the order flow and gravity of uh, the market pulling down that that's kind of the thesis of this video here so uh, just in case and it, it, it's appropriate with it, it's not really about earnings but maybe earnings kind of kicks us off because we're in a bullish setup as we speak so let me go up to the higher time frames and we'll take a look at from the top down so this is this is a non-political video a channel in general so um, but I like the bounce ideas <clears throat> like that because it's it, it's pretty important. Um, you would think in just a fundamental um, aspect, you know, Bush and Cheney when they were in oil stocks should do fantastic. I, I can't remember which one they um, I think Cheney owned or whatever. But y you can imagine that that individual stock would would thrive. In their presidential period so we'll take a look at this in a bullish aspect i know i have the arrow down here but let's let's look at this in general of this being a wave four so you have this massive move here we're still in an uptrend and without this in place here this is what i think is going to happen but this is actually a wave four triangle and then we're setting up to move higher and you could argue that this is an inverse head and shoulder set up and you know at any point and this is such such a uh important level here at 210 we'll call it 210 um that i think this will be the critical point where we either hold this or even if we come lower but regain it that we have to consider the bullish point we're really in a bullish stance right now we're holding the 8 ema we're holding that 20 trending moving average. Now they're all coming together. So clearly we're going to get a huge move. This is on the monthly time frame. So once Tesla starts trending, I mean, this thing could be relentless, whether it's to the downside or the upside. All right. And if we bring up um, this point of view, we're, we have a, a green histogram. We're still sideways. We're just about at that zero line. So uh, there's no real bias there. Uh, we are getting a bearish cross over here in the slow so but we're not up uptrend so really hard really hard to decipher we're not trading this uh as of this point i want to see and, and, you know if you're if you're trading right here off of the 210 great you know i'm not talking about earnings and necessarily but after earnings i'll be looking to put in a position we hold 210 maybe we go higher break down from 210 great play lower so looking at the weekly and we'll look at the big picture at that point after we <clears throat> this is another point of view here and with the with the triangle drawn like this you'll see it a little bit different it looks like we have a fake break fake break and we're holding this 
this point here, this level, okay? So this could be working a bullish structure, but at this point it's an equilibrium. Lower highs, higher lows. We'll have to watch for the break. But here's here's the point of view from the from the bulls. After this move, after all time highs, we have a nice large A. Um, let me take that out. Nice large A here in purple. Let me clean this up. And uh, so, if this is a triangle pattern, that three wave move. Sorry, I didn't do all this beforehand. But I want you to see where I'm coming from. Okay, so an A, B, C for the larger in the purple wave, A. And then an A, B, C for a B. A, B, C for a C. A, B, C for a D. A, B, C for an E, you see price action is getting tighter. And now if that is complete at this point, we have a one, two setup. All right, so let me dig into the daily time frame, so we can look at this from this move here. If the wave E here to end the triangle is done, now we have an impulse wave. All right, this has to be counted as some sort of leading diagonal or a five wave move up. And um, I, I can argue that this is a three wave move and you know that the you remember the bear scenario, we continue lower, right? So, but this you have to argue that is a leading uh, impulse wave or wave one. And we're retracing right now. We tag the 62% retracement from this low to high pullback. That's a one, two setup. Now price could easily uh, for example, gap down from earnings. And uh, you might um, you might see it hold the 786, a little bit deeper retracement, but that's still a one, two setup into this 200 day moving average. All right. So holding the 200, we're, we're really, we're really on the bullish side. Okay. So as the market kind of comes down as a whole, we're going to look for a bounce in the market eventually, but Tesla could help the market move downward and kind of spark that downward uh, movement into tech next week. The rest of the tech stocks are um, having their earnings. So I could see this coming down, creating a divergence, being a one, two setup. And then we'll have to see what happens there, whether <clears throat> um, the big tech stocks start to head to the lower end because they are in a bear setup. This isn't a bullish setup. All the others, I, I can't see any sort of real bull setup. We can always argue it. Uh, and so those will be in a bear setup. So maybe big tech, all of those are moving down and uh, gapping down and things like that while um, Tesla starts to bounce or even um, move in a big way to the upside. Okay. So just something to look at. And then we'd have a wave three and it should be an impulse wave. And this should be the beginning of a new move. Okay. So we would have at that point, <clears throat> we have some deeper retracements from all time highs, so they should still create um, resistance. So if we start making new highs here, we have to take this into uh, consideration of the bullish point here. All right. So if this is the wave one going into wave two, we can get a sense of where price should end up. And so you take the wavelength of one. And we could leave it here if we gap up and start moving uh, from this point. That's a one, two setup in itself. But I suspect that the, the, the 200 day moving average would, um, would be tested again. Okay. But either way, what we're looking for, if we hold here the 62, because we're already there, I'll clean this up. We're only looking for one of these targets at this point. And that's the 162 extension. 
And that would just be a perfect scenario where it goes directly into 347.58. Now that's the 786 retracement from this entire move. And now we're in this, we're in this pattern. It's not over yet because we have an alternate scenario for the for the um, bearish scenario too. And we'll go over that again when and if price breaks above these points. Okay, and you see how I have the triangle uh, uh, drawn this time. It's a perfect triangle from these tops because of this geometric point here. So it doesn't quite touch any of the other points. Uh, but these two kind of led us to this top here and the D wave. Okay, so we'll be looking for a wave three to terminate here. And in a sense, that, that's a bearish and a bullish setup. Okay, well, a bearish setup, but the bullish move. All right, so we'll have to see what happens if we get up to this point, the three. Now, this could all just fail. Okay, the, we're not saying this is going to happen, but in this scenario where, uh, you know, going into election, this is well after election out here. Uh, we only have a couple of weeks headed um but if uh you know certain people are ahead in the polls that could be a catalyst in itself so that's the reason why we weren't holding back on mj uh, we weren't waiting for a particular candidate to be winning we we're just loading up on those uh if you saw every single time that i post those um buying shares of mj that was me every single time i pulled the trigger okay there's a lot of them okay so um here we would have to now determine whether this is just a uh, uh an end of um oh i think i had it uh initial move down here for an a uh i can't remember i'll have to look at it later but uh, some sort of um where this is an a b and some sort of c way move here uh where b is this all this and then C is all the way up here and then we continue our move down oh sorry sorry that doesn't make sense this would be an impulse wave or a larger degree a that I had like in the red and this would just be all an a b c for a b and then much lower for a c that would be the bear scenario but this would be the key point if um, Tesla looks bullish at all and breaks these highs we will play calls on Tesla up to the 347. That uh, I think that's where the target will go. And then at that point, we couldn't, we can't determine whether we're going to make new <clears throat> new highs or not unless we get above 347. Okay. Um, and that's mostly what I want to get out of here. Uh, I'm not going to go to the 65. Just want to explain that that this is a scenario. If we start seeing this triangle break out, you're going to get a lot of bulls. A lot of bulls into this the market can be even going down during that time and like i said it could be from this point here um at the 786 we start getting underneath this 786 that's the 200 day moving average now we kind of have a different story to the bear side and we could we, we'd show that bear side again so right now we're neutral Either way it could happen. We'll see what happens tonight after earnings and going into the election. All right. Thanks for joining us here at Options Center. We'll see you in the next video.